welcome to my channel. I have been missing since 2017 and I am here to explain why I've been missing and why I'm back. I have returned. Why have I returned? Why have I returned after all this time? Well, it's a long story, but I will keep it short and keep it brief because ain't nobody got time for that. So, I tried to start a YouTube channel back in 2017. It was the first time that I'd ever picked up a camera, ever learnt anything about anything really regarding the internet. I had no interest in social media or anything remotely, cameras, gear, all the rest of it. So I opened that chapter and my aim was to create a channel around myself and my faith and present a different way of looking at faith and how faith can look like for other people because I came to faith when I was around 22 and I still had a lot of questions and there was just a lot of taboo around it. So anyway, I had a opportunity presented to myself and my husband and we jumped on the opportunity. We were going to move across to the other side of the world, pick up our young family and everything seemed to line up perfectly. We had, we sold our car, we sold our home, we sold our business and basically last minute it fell through. And that broke me, it broke me in a big way. It broke me not only spiritually, but mentally. And you can see the demise and the outworkings of this in my early videos that are hideous and I don't ever want to see them again. When something like that happens to you, it's really hard because nothing externally in your life has changed, but you've had this whole complete floor ripped out from under you experience and people don't know how to respond to that, don't even know that that's happened, but you're basically left to rebuild who you are from scratch, or I did anyway, because uh, it's, it's a really tricky thing because it's spirituality and when you believe something so intensely and then that comes out looking like something else, you're just left in shock. And that's basically what I was left with. And because I was young and I had my babies very young and I was married very young and I thought that this was it, this was my life path. And then when it suddenly wasn't, I just didn't know where to look. So to wrap that up, I am, I do still have my faith. It looks a little different. It always has looked different. I think it always will look different. I really don't care. It's, it's my relationship with God and that's what it is. Whether people have an opinion about that, I really don't give a crap. So why now? Why after all this time? Well, what did I do after that happened? After a lot of fights with my husband and being a cranky bitch mom to my kids because I just had all this anger and craziness pent up and I didn't know how to outwork it. I had to do a lot of learning about myself, about other people, mostly about myself, which let's be honest, nobody wants to do that. It's not easy, it's not easy or fun to unpack painful things that you have pushed down so far because you don't really wanna deal with them. So anyway, to distract myself for a little bit, I enrolled in a TAFE course in the city, which was my certificate for in photography. And I had a blast. I learnt how to use a camera. I went in as a complete novice, not knowing anything. And I ended up doing my diploma. And here behind me is my final exhibition, which we unfortunately couldn't hold because of COVID, so nobody got to see it, which is really sad. And then I have done some freelance stuff. I've done some assisting and I just, this love of making videos and editing, like it never went away. And I, I thought, screw it, why not? I mean, what? My biggest issue was there are so many voices in the world 
There are so many, like what, what right do I have to add mine? Who wants to listen to what I have to say? And for the longest time, I had absolutely no confidence. It's something that I'm still working on. It's something that I'll probably forever be working on. And I, I have just as much of a right to say my piece as another person. And the biggest question people want to know is why, what do you want to do with your photography now? To be honest, I don't really love the whole like wedding photography. I'm working currently as a school photographer. I, I just don't enjoy it. What I do enjoy is creating art, is creating beautiful pieces and learning about Photoshop and all that intricate detail that goes into into it and self-portraits and just the really arty farty side of photography. Unless you're a big time artist, it is really hard to get your name out there because unfortunately in photography, it is not what you know, it is who you know and, you, and luck, I guess, I don't know. So why am I starting this YouTube channel? Why? Because I had no voice for so long, I was so broken and I, I love it, so why not? To hell with it, freaking COVID happened. So who cares, just do it. Life is short and this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time and because people have opinions and you can't do that and it's not a real job and you can't make money off that and you can't do this and you can't do that. I just, you know what, I'm gonna do what makes me happy and currently I'm at home with my kids and I've got the time so screw it. I'm gonna do it and that's why I'm here. What I talk about, I don't necessarily know yet, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. For the longest time, I was so afraid. I had no voice. I was so afraid to, and it still happens to me. Like I have the most crazy social anxiety. It's ridiculous. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate, but this is an outlet where I can just talk and be myself. And yes, it's crazy because I'm putting it out there for randoms to see, but to be honest, I don't know, but here we are and I'm back. I would like to speak about my experience, my mental health journey, my photography journey, my life journey. The thing with internet and YouTube, it is so overwhelming to when you, it's all numbers and it's all analytics and you've got to find your niche and you've got to do this and you've got to do that. And I, for so long, I wanted to do this, but I was so afraid and I had this analyst paralysis and perfectionism and I just what am I going to talk about and what are people going to say like you just have to get to a point where who cares if it makes you happy do it it is the first day of autumn and it is 36 degrees celsius that is not autumn weather. That is hot, summer, sweaty weather. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up now. Look, you can see the sweat on my lip.